Today, John will present an evaluation technique called the sandwich. This is a great way to remember how to structure your feedback so that it's most helpful to the recipient. If you follow his recipe, you'll be sure to give a review that's encouraging, constructive, and well thought out. John is also completing his competent communicator manual today. Please welcome Toastmaster John Mandujano. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me just get set up here very quickly. Forgot, forgot to play. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it has been said, even by a college speech professor, that giving a speech evaluation can sometimes be tougher and even scarier than giving the speech itself. Why? Because she says that it is someone that is asking you for your honest and straightforward opinion. And that can be kind of tough. Hey, Johnny, what did you think about my speech? Uh, do I tell them the truth? Do I lie? Well, they hate me for correcting them. But it wasn't that good. And just maybe it was even horrible. And what is the other person looking for? Encouragement or assistance or both? With that being said, there is indeed a way to give a good and honest critique. That is to give that portion of your straightforward opinion and constructive criticism and temper it with sincere and genuine encouragement. Within the Toastmasters circle, there is a proven technique that our speech evaluators utilize when handing out evaluations to our fellow Toastmasters that have presented speeches. This technique is known as the sandwich technique. Allow me to demonstrate and to explain it as I go through it. All right? The technique is very basic. You start off with demonstrating a few strengths that the speaker has presented during his speech. Then you discuss a couple of areas for improvement that the speaker can utilize in their future speeches. And you conclude by giving either additional strengths or reiterating the strengths that were presented in their speech. Going back to the college professor, if I just may, she learned as a college professor what not to do and actually discovered the sandwich technique. She states that as she gave her evaluation to her students, she started off by giving them what they did wrong. She discovered that it was a huge mistake because what happened is that her students shut down and actually put up a wall to hear any more of her additional positive helpful hints because she started off on the wrong foot by giving the negative instead of the positive. So obviously after she learned that, she changed her ways and saw before her very eyes how her students accepted all of her constructive criticism, encouragement, as well as additional tips for improvement. All right? This positive feedback, constructive criticism, and areas for improvement are sandwiched between positive comments. The theory is that the speaker will be more receptive to listening and even acting upon, if you will, the constructive criticism given if it is surrounded by positive statements. So without further ado, why don't we start out by making the sandwich. We start out with a piece of bread. And remember what the bread is. Bread is praise. Bread is giving a positive comment. Let me use myself for, a, for an example. I have just given a speech with two other people. All right? And we'll have someone like Linda 
come up and give me my evaluation. Linda will come up and says, John, congratulations. Thank you so much. That was a wonderful speech. If I just may add one wonderful comment is that you got a wonderful voice. It seems to carry, for somebody your size, people can actually hear you, which is a good thing. So she started off with a wonderful comment. All right. Oh, I forgot, forgot one other thing. I'm sorry. My condiments. <laughs> Okay, so she starts over. Next does come the areas for improvement. Remember what I said. We start out with a praise, then we go ahead and sandwich it with some areas for improvement. These, these are represented here by the condiments. So she'll say, okay, John, I, again, your speech was wonderful, but if I may, may I suggest an area for improvement? So she starts with uh, a little mayonnaise here and says, John, you had a little bit of... Uh, a bad eye contact. You seem to get stuck in one area of the room without looking at anybody else. All right? So that's an area for improvement there. Okay, we put it on this sandwich. Okay, and she gives me another one. Sean, if I may give another one, you were kind of stiff. You were kind of just standing there. You need to learn to relax and just kind of speak to everybody more comfortably. Okay, we'll do that with a little bit of mustard. All right, again, just to emphasize the condiments part. All right, okay, all right, and there we have it. Okay, the next evaluation element is the specific suggestions to those areas for improvement. So for example, and these are presented here by either the meat, the cheese, or the vegetables, better known as the toppings, okay? So first, Suggestion for improvement having to do with the poor eye contact. John, if I may just ask you to learn how to make and maintain eye contact with everyone by just moving your eyes across the entire audience and acknowledging everybody when you give your speech. So that's, that's my slice of cheese here, okay? Next, as far as the area for improvement, uh, as I say that you were too stiff, John. You needed to... If I may suggest that what you do is learn to use the entire room. Uh, it's one of those things that I've seen actually people do, speakers use, is they learn to walk across the room and learn how to use the entire room. Now, I know that's just a suggestion. You can still stand here and just kind of be at least a lot more comfortable. But that it is a, a suggestion that, that one can give you as far as learning not to be so stiff. All right, so you have, oh, I, well, actually, I'll give one more as far as the toppings, all right? And I'll use all of them just even though I'm going to use one suggestion here. And the last suggestion she might have given me, because I'm trying to make a sandwich here, you know, I'm just trying to complete it here, is, uh, is John, you really talk kind of fast. You need to learn to slow down and learn the art is what I have learned, the art of pausing. Got it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to make an incredible effect, doesn't it? It's really neat. I've seen people actually do this. I didn't believe it at first until I saw it. But once it was done, it was like, wow, that silence is golden. It sure can be and leave that impact. So last but not least, after you give your areas of improvement and specific suggestions, you have your last piece of bread, which again is ending, the, ending your spe speech evaluation, again, with either giving additional strengths or reiterating the positive comments given in that presentation. Once again, John, you did very good with your speech. Again, your voice is excellent, it's good, and uh, let's go ahead and work on those areas of improvement, but all in all, you did a wonderful job this evening. And so there you have it. You have the entire sandwich. Again, two sandwiches, praise in the beginning, praise in the end, sandwiched by areas of improvement in the middle. Now, if I just may add, there are some speech evaluations given at times where you just give the bread. Now, what did we say the bread was? Praise, good comments. Well, it's good to do that, but what are we missing? We're missing areas of improvement for the individual speaker. And sometimes that can, that can be a misjustice for the speaker because Toastmasters is about growing, about becoming a better speaker. So you want to not just give the bread. How about just the condiments? What did we say the condiments were? Were areas of improvement. 
You just want to tell him what he or she, what she did wrong. John, don't forget, eye contact bad. You talk too fast. Uh, you stand too still. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. Okay? You don't, you, you don't want to leave the speaker with just areas of improvement. You want to give that positive presentation and comment as well. So there you go. There is the entire speech, I mean, the uh, sandwich technique. And again, I thank you all for coming. And why don't we go ahead and work? I'm so thankful that, uh, if I may add, coming to Toastmasters myself, it is, has been a wonderful experience. I, if I may add, what Noel said, came with the judgment that people were just going to tell me right off what I did wrong. It sure is wonderful to know that everyone here has been so wonderful, so kind, so sincere and genuine in giving me positive improvements in how I speak. Thank you very much.